how's it going guys we are back with another video here and this video is going to be how to make coins simply the january edition very late i know uh into the month i apologize i'll have another how about february one out you know hopefully uh earlier than than you know the 26th of the month but you know what uh we still got it out that's all that matters and I'm going to break down uh, each and every way to make coins in HUT as of January 2021. Um, there's definitely a bunch of different ways. Uh, and there's, there's a lot that I've mentioned before in the previous one. But if you're new to the channel here, you didn't see that video. Uh, this is a different one here. It's going to be different information. Uh, there's going to be some things that, that I didn't mention last time. So uh, starting off, when you go into Hockey Ultimate Team here. So we're here, right? We are here at the HUT menu and the best ways to make coins, uh, right now you're staring at one of them, and that's going to be Rush. So, Hot Rush 3v3. Uh, let's just click into that really quick. And again, I get it, guys. Hot Rush is, it doesn't really, you know, appeal to everyone, certainly. I mean, I'm not someone that plays it too often. I haven't, you know, even created a lineup for this Hot Rush yet. And uh, when does it end? It actually ends, yeah, it actually ends this Thursday. But uh, what I want to mention is, guys, a uh, very quick coin you can get. Uh, literally, uh, you play one game and you get 5k, like that's straight up until you get, uh, win or lose, I'm pretty sure you get the 10,000 points at least, and, uh, you're, uh, you're chilling already with that, so, um, I feel like, uh, it's definitely worth, uh, doing that, I really, really do, uh, it's, it's just, it's free, it's free, uh, rewards, it's free, uh, coins as well, essentially, um, as you play through, you get the re-rolls, that's fine, four gold players, 5k more, so that's 10k already you got, um, it's just, it's not bad. Another 8k, 18.5k right there. And that's not bad. You get a little icon collectible at the end of it all. So, I mean, it's definitely a wor the worth it to do this, I'd say. I mean, you get 18k pretty, you know, pretty easily. I mean, 18k for 1.1 mil. And, uh, the best advice for you guys, what I would say, is actually to play against a CPU and play on Rookie and do the, uh, the objectives. It's way easier to do that. It's one of the easiest ways to actually go about, uh, doing the objectives and making... You're just getting the uh, rush done as soon as you can. So that's what I'd say about rush. I think it's a very nice way to get some extra coins. I'm not saying it's the main way to get coins, but it's def definitely a nice little uh, extra way to get some, okay? Moving on uh, to the next one here. And uh, really, definitely one that, you know, it's not uh, as, again, fun for everyone, but squad battles definitely is a good one uh, to do. It really, really is. Um, as you can see, uh, the ranks here, I have not played, guys, I have not played a squad battle game probably since October, um, it's just something that's not for me, I'm more of an online person, I love playing the online aspect of the game, but if you ask me to play squad battles, uh, each and every week, I just don't have the time, realistically, uh, after I play Rivals and Champs, you know, 50 games a week, it's, it's crazy, but anyway, uh, as you can see right here, uh, this is, uh, 750 coins, uh, that is 1.5k coins, I mean, I'm blocking the screen, semi-pro, you get 3k, 4k for semi-pro, uh, and I want to say something right now, guys, these are all tradable rewards as well, uh, so let's just say you get pro 3, okay, which is literally, pro 3 is essentially like playing, I want to say what, like, three squad battle games on superstar and, and and winning by five and all that and getting the max rewards i know it's only uh you know monday or tuesday but i feel like still it's really worth it's very easy to do i mean i know it's frustrating sometimes but if you're really scraping by and trying to earn any coin you know you can i think it's worth it i really really do um and then even pro 2 you get 10k which is not much more as well again it's earlier on in the week well not really early on it's towards the end but um, I would say it's worth it. Pro 2, you play, like, maybe, like, five games, and you got 10k, and you're almost, I mean, you're almost in Pro 1 at that point. Uh, plus you're getting these two packs, they're tradable. You could also pull coins in those packs as well. Um, and even better, you can, you, you know, you're gonna get the coins for free. End of the day, I mean, the best advice for you guys is to, when you get the coins, just don't spend them on packs and don't spend them recklessly. Make sure you're, you're buying things that aren't going to just, you know, decrease in value right away. Uh, like, if, you, if you're going to buy a car, don't buy a car that, you know, it's older and it's just overpriced. You got to, like, kind of, like, realize what the market is, is looking like and all that. Uh, that's what I would say. So, like, again, Pro 1. And, and, I mean, as it obviously gets higher and higher, it's even better. But realistically, the coin amount doesn't really change that much. Like, 
uh, yeah, you're playing extra. Like, Elite 1 is really not worth it in my eyes. Like, to, to play and, and get 46, 40, probably 50,000 by it all. Three Megas tradable, and those Carter Heart Packs, they're not amazing. They're really, really not. So, uh, plus 17k, like, it's okay. I think what I would really recommend to you guys like, to, like, make the best use of your time and play everything else and also have other ways to make coins uh, is probably try to just get the Pro um, pro 2 at, at the most. I mean, you don't really need to do anything else and other than that, in my opinion, I'd say. So, that's what we got right there uh, for Squad Battles. Again, it's a nice little way to make some extra coins, though. It really is. All right. Uh, then we have the online section here, and uh, this is one of the more efficient ways. Right now, I'm in Ultimate. Uh, I hope I hold. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to, but regardless, every division is different. All the rewards are different in every division, so we got to keep that in mind, right? I'm in Division 1. Uh, these are my rewards. Uh, right now, I'm in Ultimate. I would love to hold and get all these packs. Because for me, as a content creator, I will always take the untradeable packs. But in reality, that's not the smartest thing to do. Unless, 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 uh, you are taking the untradeables to make collectibles to eventually make tradable master set items. That's the key. One of the better ways to make coins as well is to make gold collectibles. Uh, take your untradeable rivals, okay? Take your untradeable rivals. And then, what you want to do... Uh, is simply, you know, make those tradable MSPs because, again, there's so many MSPs right now. So you, there's a set, I think it's like 15 gold or something, right? Um, you trade it in and say you get Hughes at 700k right there you just got. And that was all just from untradable items. So that's worth it in my eyes. It really is. Um, here's the other thing with rivals. If you're not going to want to do that, Take tradable uh, packs, de depending on your, again, your packs. But if you can get, like, tradable ultimates, like, if, like again, diamond, like, tradable ultimate and jumbo uh, NHL player pack is very good, actually. Because, um, again, you could definitely take that coins as well. I get it. 80k, that's not bad. But there's that, that chance that you can get, like, a very good player in, in one of these packs, right? So, it's tough. Uh, or, but if you really want to be that safe and just take the coins, take the coins guaranteed, take the 80k, or platinum, this is division one, take the 67k. I mean, guys, uh, you know, some quick math as I like to always do. I mean, the ultimate obviously is not possible really to get every week unless you're like the best player in the world. I mean, I, you have to win almost every game, but obviously that's 400k a month, guys. That's, that's just, I don't even need to do math for that. But, uh, you know, diamond, of course, 80,000, you know, let's just say I got diamond every time. I took the coins every time, 320k every month, just from rivals, guys. That's just from rivals. That's crazy. Um, that's literally just, and, and that's before hut champs rewards or squad battles or anything else, you know, that, that's the crazy thing about that. Uh, so, I mean, probably I'll finish in diamond and I'll probably just take the untreatable because, you know, for more content and, and just making cards is, is what I'm looking to do. So. Uh, yeah, that's what we got for uh, rivals. I mean, definitely, there's a lot of great ways to make coins, and uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully, I'll be able to stay in ultimate. That that's really all I hope for. Um, all right, and then another, the other way, guys, is uh, you know, hut champs. I mean, it's very tough, guys. Hut champs is very challenging. I get it. I mean, I finished rank 28 here, so I get excellent rewards, um, as you can see right here. Uh, I finish in the top 50 it would be it would be in the top uh 21 to 50 and uh, i received three uh, ultimate packs and one mega pack tradable and uh that is very nice very very good packs um you know again regardless that's 60 80 plus overall cards uh and if i really want to i could just sell each every each and every one and i would make a lot of coins off of that so let's think guys uh 60 80 plus overall cards uh at the very minimum uh, you could sell those gold cards for about 1200 a pop probably so if you do the logic 1200 times 60 that's 72 K that's with, that's if I get nothing That's if I get nothing, but I, I don't everybody gets ultimates. I get it I get it I get it, but there are other packs you can earn so even top 500 you do get that so again 500 and the elite pack there are good options there are good packs here that you can potentially you know get amazing things from so you know there's still great things to be had and there's still great rewards to be uh to be given as well and uh and, and great success for you guys to have just if you don't finish in the top 50 there's other there's other packs um but hot champs i'm not gonna lie hot champ is definitely not the number one way to make coins in my eyes at least it's very very you know luck based i'd say uh but if you sell all your cards you're usually going to be you know doing pretty well for yourself all right, so moving on to some other things here, um, and really one of the bigger ones for me, guys. Uh, let's go to the auction house. Of course, it's the classic, guys. It's I say it every every time I'm making a coin, you know, making video. It's just simply the classic. Um, what you want to do, guys, is go to the 59th minute. So 
uh, right here, I have a hundred K. Okay. So let's go, let's go one K to, you know, a hundred ten K, right? So what you want to do is put your buy now maximum to the amount of coins you have. Cause also you're not going to search for, uh, you know, cards that of course you can't afford. It makes no sense. So what you want to do is go over to the 59th minute, of course, of the hour. And I, some of you are going to be like, Henrik, you're, you're spoiling my, you're ruining my, my thing, Henrik. You're going to ruin it for me and ruin it for everybody else guys i mean most people know about this this is really just inform informative at the end of the day my video my channel is really just dedicated to helping out people and uh if this can help some people get steals and and all that that's what i'd like to have happen you know so all right we're about at the uh, hour mark right now and uh basically the thing you want to do here is uh learn the biggest thing before you do any of this though is to learn the market and learn the values of each card uh so listen you see like an 88 Zabinage ad and you recognize that card. Okay, 106k, that's not really a deal. You're looking to get deals here, right? Um, so, okay. Uh, you can hit the place bid button and then press B after you do that. Or sorry, circle if you're on PlayStation. Uh, and the cards will refresh each time. And it'll show you what cards are being put up. Like Eric Carlson just went up 10k right there. Um, it's, you know, Marshan just went up right there. 60k, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe some illegal transactions. Uh, you know, Brent Bird, a lot of cards are going for ex extremely expensive amounts. I'm not sure what that is uh, about Johnny Bauer. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of different ones. Mantha, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I really don't. Some some shady things at this late hour I'm recording this video. But um, Joe Pavelski, yeah, 50K, what is going on? Regardless, uh, if you learn the market and you see a car pop up that, like, you're like, oh, whoa, 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 that's way, way cheaper than it should be. You got to know. So, like, 87 Ovechkin, okay, I mean, that's not, you know... And you'll know. The, the other key is you'll realize, you'll learn quickly what are deals and what aren't because uh, they're going to sell quickly. I mean, people are doing this, guys. This is not like a very uncommon thing. As I'm recording this video, I promise you there's people that are literally on the market right now trying to get steals. So you got to understand there's people that are, you know, competition out there. You got to be fast with it. You got to know your stuff. That's the key uh, when it comes to working the market. I used to do this a lot uh, back in the day. Back in the NHL 19, I remember I did this and I, I believe I sniped a Crosby... I think it was Winter National, or maybe, sorry, International uh, Player of the Game cards, uh, Canada Crosby, and I believe I got him for like 400k less than he sold for, and I got a trade that made me like, you know, 600k, which is wild, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's, there's just so many great ways. Um, another thing, guys, uh, one other thing I want to mention as well with the auction house, something to very, very much to think about, okay, so, gold cards, guys, here's a very simple thing about gold cards. So right now, let's search buy now maximum. Let's search gold, okay? So as you can see, they are 1,000 coins right now, okay? These are very cheap and you should buy them. If you see gold cards for 1,000, you should pr try to pick them up because they will, and I mean, they, like this is unbelievable. 950, that is a steal. These will go up uh, when a new event starts, actually, believe it or not. When a new event starts, this will go up because people want to buy these and make the collectibles to make the new master set items. That's the reason for it. Uh, and a lot of times these are cheaper. Uh, they, these can get really cheap even on Wednesdays when rewards are given because people are opening a lot of packs, hot chance packs. Friday, yeah, packs are opened, but not as many because obviously more people open the rewards on the Wednesday because people, you know, aren't patient enough. Uh, you know, a lot of people aren't. I'm not usually, but... These are really cheap. Like a lot of the time, guys, a thousand is, is extremely cheap, uh, and and these are going to sell. And actually, this is a late hour of the night too, so that could be another factor. People aren't uh, as as you know looking like like right now. If I bought all these cards, I could easily make coins. They usually sell for about twelve hundred. Uh, this is on Xbox at least twelve hundred uh, when when something's out. Like, like I had to build my team of the year, and I believe I had to buy some of them were like twelve fifty or thirteen hundred. I had to buy. It was actually really wild. So it all depends. It really all depends on the timing and all of that. But uh, I would say the, the biggest days really to buy these are, are when rewards are given out uh, on, on the Wednesday and, and the Hot Champs. I mean, it's just very, very, uh, it's probably the best time. It just simply is. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's some of the best ways, I'd say, uh, through the auction house at least. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else, like, last second that makes sense. They can really make coins. Um, not really too many here that I can think of off the top of my head, guys. Uh, it's just... Yeah, just kind of grind. I mean, challenges aren't really worth it in my eyes. I mean, like, if you're really just starting to get, like, going, sure, maybe. But uh, other than that, nothing nothing too insane. You're not making too many coins. 
uh, from all that. But again, take advantage of what they give you though, because you do get uh, the icon collectibles if you're able to do the challenges for the NHL 2030 event. Uh, but these are all just like extra solid, like small, small amounts of coins here. Uh, but if you're the superstar, I, I believe you get some decent coin rewards here. Let me just double check here. Group one, yeah, I mean that's like uh, over over uh, almost 2,000 coins per game, which is not bad at all. So. I mean, it all depends, guys. It all depends uh, what you're trying to do, the time you're willing to put in to uh, make the coins. Uh, there is just a lot of ways to make coins, though. There really, really are. Um, and if there's any other questions you guys have about what I mentioned in this video, definitely let me know in this, the comment section down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, follow me on Twitch, Henrik. We're live there every single day. Of course, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. Appreciate all the support as always, guys. Remember to use code Henrik for all your G Fuel orders. Um, I really appreciate the support. I really do, guys. All right, and that's it, and I will see you guys in the next video.